Hi there, once again welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted so much to have you back on my channel. And today we're going to do something so amazing. We're going to create a complete result automating or result automation score sheet. We're going to do that in Excel. And remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So this is what we're going to have. We're going to have every subject. And then once you enter the score for a student, automatically it's going to grade that student. So we have English Science, Social Studies, Core Maths, Elective Maths, Physics, Chemistry, and we also have what? Biology. So once you enter any course, the score will automatically, the person will automatically be upgraded. So you add and then you see the grade for every individual course. So after you get that, you also have the total for the summation of your entire course. Okay, we have the total for that and we get a percentage based on the percentage and we can grade you and then also give you the position. So let's say for instance, I've done up to Aaron. So let's say maybe for instance, in English, she had 89. Then you can see automatically it's giving her A minus based on our score over here. So we are saying if you get between 85 and above you should get a minus and basically maybe had up to 89 so it's getting a minus when it comes to science let's say she had 76 automatically it's going to be minus then we come to social studies let's say 90 it's going to give a plus so you can see everything is updating over here so the score over here will also be updated accordingly so we come to core math let's say 67 and everything has been updated we come to e months let's say 79 we do b minus we come to what physics let's say 56 d minus we come to chemistry let's say chemistry 74 c plus then biology let's say 80 and you can see she's getting a total score of 611 and since it's eight courses the total is supposed to be 800 since every subject is over 100 percent and we calculate the percentage for that and then we give the final grade which is what b minus and also it's going to give you the position so per the scores we have right now maybe it's at for third position the rest we are seeing success because we've not yet graded them so we when we try to give them the grade it's going to give them their respective position so at the stance now you can see that we have john at what position one is the first now having b plus so let's try and then see if the position of John is going to change. If we should get somebody who score, let's say 90. So let's say Sayram is getting 90. So that's A plus for English. Let's say science, she had 89. That's A minus for science. Let's say social studies, she had 91. So that's B plus. Then we come to E minus, let's say she had 89. That's A minus. Then we come to elective minus. Let's say she had 79. That's B plus uh, B minus. We come to physics. She had 93. That's A plus. Then to chemistry. She had 90. Then that's A plus. Then we come to what biology and let's say 94. That's also A plus. You can see automatically she's having 715. 715 a percentage score is 89.79. And she's getting A minus. So the position for John has changed to second and what? Sayram is now at what? Position one. So this has been done perfectly and everything is moving on well. So that is A minus. So we are saying from 85 and above is what? A minus per our score sheet over here let's try and then try and let's try and do it for somebody to get a a plus so we have a minus at the moment let's score somebody 90 so let's say 94 for english sorry 94 for english so 94 for english okay, so 94 for english and then we have 94 again we have 89 a minus say 95 a minus for elective mass 91 that's for e mass physics let's say 92 chemistry 93 and then biology we have what let's say 90 
So automatically, now Anita is getting what? A plus at the total score. And she's got 92 point something and now she's at position one so this is basically what we're going to create in this video in order to get everything and also i'm going to show you how to get this template i'm going to leave it i'm going to show you how basically how you can get this so what you need to do is that subscribe and watch this video to the end in order for you to get a full understanding of what i'm going to do in this video to try it's going to help you a lot whatever school you have a busy school you can use this process to generate a, an automated score sheet for your students so this is what we are going to do and let's see how to go about it we're going to take everything step by step so i'm going to my next sheet as so well sheet one and sheet two so when i click on this this is a complete empty template we're going to work with so this is what we're going to do and i'm going to take my time and then make this one do everything for you to see okay so we're going to create our formulas and everything step by step okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to create one formula and it's going to work for everything so i'm going to create my formulas first and then our values will start once we start entering our values it will be updating everything for us so you can see this is very empty templates we're going to work with and no formula is attached at this moment and normally if you want to create this form you can just select where you want to create your form and then just go to the font group to create your table and then just go to the form group and then you can use all borders this will give you border and for the colors the highlighted colors you can just select a column and then over here under the fill color you can select any color of your choice to fill that particular color basically i use the style option over here. we also have the style option and then you can select any style of your choice so that is what i use for my own so you can use any of that to do this so once you, you are done with this you can follow up with whatever i'm going to do but anyway i'm still going to leave everything for you to get the entire template so watch the end and i'll show you how to get that okay so let's create our formula for our final grading and we are going to use whatever we have over the 90 and above we're going to use this to do our grading so let's start so basically to score a student is going to be based on the percentage score the student is going to have so we're going to use this column for that for our grading based on that we can give you the grading so let's go and then say equal to so we're going to say equal to if so i'm going to use the formula bar okay where we have the function over here the formula bar to rewrite it so you can see it very well so we're going to say if so that's a percentage i'll select that column that's the column we're going to use for our grading and that is what u5 so i'm going to see if u5 is greater or equal to what 90 our first result is what 90 and above so i'm going to say 90 that's why i say greater or equal so that means 90 is inclusive then i'll bring comma and then give what i'm going to give what a but that should be what quote that is the score we're going to give the person that is going to be a plus so take note of that so this is what we're going to do so that is the same process we're going to repeat for the entire entire formula so that is you bring a comma and then bring if again for our next formula we are using the same column so we are using the same column that's the percentage column we are using so that is the same u so you can just type u or just select the column over there so you can just say u so that is u5 greater or equal to so that is 85 the next one is going to be 85 and we are giving what a minus for that so that should be in quote again so that's going to be what a minus and i bring comma again bring comma and then we go to if so that is same u5 greater or equal to so that's going to be 80 so that'll be 80 so that is greater or equal to 80 we are giving that person what a b plus so in quotes we give it what a b plus close our quotes comma and then if we'll do it until we get to the last part of our function so this is also going to be what u5 greater or equal to so 75 we are going to 75 now 75 and we'll bring comma and we're going to give 75 and number is going to be what b minus and this is going to be what in the quotes this way comma then if again u5 so we are using the same column the column is not going to change greater or equal to so this is going to be 70 70 
comma so 70 we are giving c c plus and that is going to be in quotation okay and if again it's going to be what u5 so we are maintaining the same column that is where we're going to get our value so this is going to be greater or equal to what so this is going to go 65 65 based on the grading we, we, we have based on the grading we have over here if you want to change your grading you can easily do that estimate your entire grading so with 65 we are saying we'll give us c minus so we'll bring that there c minus then comma and so bring so that's going to be into this comma if u5 again greater or equal to so the next one is going to be 60 60 comma so 60 we are giving the person what a d plus so that is also going to be that's also going to be in double quote and we'll bring comma again u5 again greater or equal to this time around is 55 55 we are going to give anyone scoring 55 a d minus so this is going to be d minus remember this should be in what quotes and then we're going to have 50 as well so if u5 greater or equal to that is 50 we're going to give what so this is going to be e9 but i can easily change it i want to make it e8 so i'll make this one e8 make this one e8 and comma and lastly lastly u5 less than so anything 50 and less than i'm going to give you f9 so we're going to say 50 that's 50 and less so nothing like equal to so we're going to bring what to quotation we'll say what f9 this way so this time we're going to count the number of times you open your bracket and close it there a number of times so we're going to say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it closes one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this way and hit enter okay so we can see right now we are getting f9 because we've not entered any results okay so any result that is 50 less that is what you're going to get so we'll start entering some few figures and see what is going to happen let me just come here the total column i've not automated it i've not automated the percentages so we're going to do that and see how this is going to go but we need to use the same formula for the other rules over here so let's say for instance let's say kofi is getting 89 for english we should be able to get the result for that we should be able to display that result over here we don't need to write the entire formula again we can just click over here copy our entire formula copy everything and then we click on this column let's click on this column and then and then just paste this formula we'll paste this formula over here and all we need to do is that we're going to update our figures our position we have this formula working for this side i think i cut this let me just copy this here so over here what we're going to do is that we're going to just update the position so this is going to be e5 so instead of the so instead of the u5 this is supposed to be what e5 because we are changing the column for our value so we just change this to what e5 we change our formula we just update the position and then we hit enter we hit enter
okay so i've given e5 i've updated this and you can see it's already uh, it's already grading this particular person that's cool he's giving what a minus so that because the person score 85 and above so we want to also give signs so let's say the person is getting 78 for signs we should be able to get the results we just click over and paste the same formula again and this is going to be what it's going to be g5 that is how it's supposed to be so this is going to be g5 because that's where we can locate our figure so we just update that and enter g5 so we don't have to type this formula all the way from scratch we are just updating the position of our figures okay I think we've updated everything hit enter you can see 78 over here for within 75 and above so you're getting what b minus so we just have to repeat the same for the rest so over here it's going to be what i5 so we just tell it so we just have to change this to i5 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 i5, I5. And then we have this side, i5, 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 so we change it to i5 updating, so social studies, our figures will be updated over here, so let's say we give the person 67, automatically it's going to update that, okay, it's going to update that, so 67, this is seven is supposed to be C minus. So I'm just going to change my formula. So 65 over here. I think I need to update this. It's supposed to be C minus in my formula. Uh -huh. Then this is working. And we're going to do this one as well. So the same formula. So we're going to change this. This is going to be K5. So we just have to update this one to K5. 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 Okay, so we're just using the same formula but we just want to update the columns where we can locate those figures we're just trying to automate everything so that it will work for us perfectly once we enter a record it will give us the grid for that and k5 and then hit enter so nothing is there but if i go ahead and then enter the score it will grade it will grade this person so we'll go here and then We'll do the same thing so this is going to be m5 so we just have to update the same formula but this time around this is going to be m5 this is going to be m5 okay so this is giving us f9 but we'll go ahead and then give the exact score for the student then the student will be graded as well but what we need to do you just have to drag this formula down so that it will apply to the rest for now you'll be getting f9 by immediately put the score of that particular student it will give the right grade for the student okay so we just drag this formula so that it will take effect through our okay so let me try and then give a figure for this okay so this is working actually so we just drag this one down again just drag i think there's just a small issue with this i think this column i've updated as a text so we come here okay so we just have to go ahead and do for the rest so i'll come down here again and paste everything okay so you just have to copy my formula again and okay, so we just want to put this here then I have removed the formula so let me just 
undo this so let me just update this one this is the m5 so this will give you the results so i'll come down here paste this one and this is going to be what 05 okay so i just have to do that I'll change my M5 now to O5. And then I'll hit enter. So when I give a student a grade, it will give the score for that. So we have the grade for that. So that's the individual grade. So you can easily even update this and call them grade. Okay, I think the score is not the right thing, so I'll just change them to grade. Okay, so we have just one left now. I'm just gonna. Okay, so. So this m5 so remember if you don't change the column it will be using the figures over to grade this that is why i'm getting this you can see the column i'm still using m5 that is why it's updating with the score for physics so this is supposed to be q what q5 so i have to change this to q5 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 so you want the figure at that column to reflect the grid so we just have to change this to q5 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 it's a bit technical when you do it to help you a lot save you a lot of time and hit enter so you're getting f9 by but immediately we put in a figure y and hit enter the right score will be given so i think the formula i need to update this is supposed to be c minus I think I need to do it for the rest as well. I think there's just a small issue with my formula. This will be C minus. So that when you get C minus in our formula, any member get a C minus, it to reflect that. Yeah. I think it run across my entire formula. So I just have to I've updated this. And here, yeah, let me update this. And this side also need update here. Yeah okay so my final formula also here need to be updated as well yeah so the issue started from my final formula so I'll just hit that and we are good to go so now we have this and i think we need one more column for biology so biology also need a grade so this is for chemistry so we need one more formula for biology so we can click on this column and then set what a new column here so we just call it what grade so we need to get a grade for biology and what i did was just select this entire column and then i'll just apply this style to it so i just paste my formula here and it's going to work s what five so put s5 here s5 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 and s5 so we hit enter and we go ahead to give a grade it's also working so this is what we've gone so far what this is what we've, we had so far and i think i need to still drag this down so to reflect the remaining columns when i enter a student the student will be graded accordingly so we just have to drag this down and that is it okay so i just want to center align this and now we need our total so our total is also going to be at this particular color and we'll get the grade for the student 
and the percentage and then we get a position so to get a total we just have to type equal to sum sum so this is where we have so the sum will start from here we need a sum so hold down control select the sum for english over here science social studies mass that's called mass e mass physics chemistry and biology so that all that we need and we close the bracket and hit enter so it's not giving us a total for every student we just have to drag this down and then when we enter the figures the total for the remaining student will also be updated for us here so once we have this total we're now going to quote get a percentage for that total based on the percentage when it fall within our score over here that we can give you the final grading over here okay so what we need to do is that for us to get a percentage we just have to enter equal to and we're going to say i'll put everything into bracket times 100 so what is going to happen is that we have eight subject that's english one two three four five six seven eight so every subject score is over 100 percent so that means it's going to be 800 in all so the student score divided by our total score times 100 so we select this column where we have the total score for every student divided by what 800 this way times what 100 percent hit enter and you can see the final score for kofi is what b minus so we have this also set and we just have to drag this percentage down and then it's going to apply for the rest as well this is just one figure we have for john once we keep adding more figures it will update him. so let's say john score 94 english and we update it to update it over you can see everything is working over here so we give the rest of the grading for john it to update and then also give the grade as well so we have to drag this down as well and as it stands now john is still having less than 50 so he's getting what f9 so let's say in science let's say john had 75 you can see it's updating still less than 50 so john is still having f9 let's say social study john had what 81 you can see it's still less than 41 so john is still what getting f9 but over here in, in the right direction social study john had b, b plus but we had the average score that's the total grade for the student so let's say in e months john had 80. you can see this time around john has gone beyond what 50 so he's getting e8 so i change my formula i change this to e8 so let me just update it over here so we just have to go ahead and then let's see physics john had 65 and chemistry he had what 79 and we are getting an individual grade for every student and in biology he had what let's see 91 so you can see so the final grade for john is what a b plus even though he had some a plus in others his final grade is what a b plus so what we're going to do now is so we can easily call this one a cumulative grade point so this could be a cumulative grade point for john so we now need to calculate the position and we're going to use the rank the rank function in excel to do that so we're going to say equal to then we say rank so we're going to use the rank keyword so rank is going to take a number so we are going to use so basically we're going to use the total column so let's use the total column to get the rank so i'll select that total column this way well that is a total column is what the u the u column then we'll bring comma so when i bring comma this way i need to reference so i'm going to reference the column i want so i was just still select the entire column this way and then close my bracket and i want to reference that and i want to log that and in order to do that i just have to select my reference and then press f4 on my keyboard this way and hit enter so currently john kofi is at is a second in terms of position i just have to drag this down sorry 
I just have to drag my formula down and then as it stands now, John is at what? The first position. So this is basically what we want to do and we've achieved that. So we're going to enter our figures and see how this is going to update the record for us. So let's go with Derek and then let me see Derek at 90. So you can see 90 he had A plus and over here he's still updating everything for us. Well, let's say in science 78 d minus for science and you can see the position everything will be updating for us so everything has been automated now and we are good to go so let me just add some random figures for every student and let's see how this is going to be easy for us so let's assume some student score low marks so you can see it's getting e8 and c7 so i'm not going to be doing anything specific the figures i'm just going to enter them random so that this video doesn't become very long so that we can see whatever the student will score and see how this is going to be simple to work with and the reason why you need to get this template i'm going to leave it for you for free to download you don't need to pay anything for it so students will score f9 as well and you come here mabel sorry this is so I'm just entering random figures for every student so so this formula over here okay so that's a k5 let me just drag this down Okay, this is actually working. So this is actually working. Let me just enter the figures for the rest. Oh, shit. So let me enter my figures again. So this is what we are doing. We just want to enter and fill the rest of our records and see how the position will be done. Everything will work for us. So we have Serum, let's say 90, 89, 91, 89, 87, 92, 88, and let's say 97. So you can see currently A plus are the cumulative grade and then is how the second first position for now so everything is updating as we work on so let's go and then let's anita 76 and seventy six. Oh, so let me just go back let me just drag my formula across again and that is that So we just have to give on our score, let's say on our papers, whatever the student gets, we just have to enter that into this particular template and everything is going to work for you as you are seeing. This is basically automated now and it's running smoothly. There's no error with this. There's no error with this particular automated score sheet. So this is what we are doing. You can see we've actually automated every position now and we have three more to go so let's say junior 78 89 94 65 64 97 78 87 rather 87 and let's say 79 so the junior is our second position for now she so set them 87, 8, 9, 9, 1, 78. Okay, so let me just drag this formula down. I think I'll overstep my boundary. Yeah. So 91 should be 70, 89, 68, 78, 90. 
90 the last one that is biology let's see 87 so you can see this is also updated and currently set them up moved towards second position and then Eugenia who initially was second is now at third position so you can see what is happening so this is basically working for us and currently this person scored the list now is what Aaron okay we can easily update that assuming we made a mistake and we want to upgrade those things and we quite to change you can see Aaron jump from 10 position to 7 well let's say this 45 is a mistake and we update it you can see it's currently at the four position so we can easily change the figures and every number we have over here is actually automated and it will change accordingly for us so let's do the last one which is randy 76 science 68 social studies 80 emails let's say 56 okay so i think i've done something wrong here okay so let me drag this down so let me see 67 okay 89 so there's the last one which is having 76 so this is what we've done with what we got so we've been able to automate every individual record over here using excel and i automated everything for you i'm going to leave this templates at the i'm going to leave the link at the description of this particular tutorial remember to, uh, remember to download and then try your hands on it and also leave a comment at the comment section if you show there's something i'm not doing right with this and you can do or you can contribute to this remember to do that and it's going to help me a lot and also contribute to the growth of this channel by liking this video if you enjoy it share with friends as well thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial so like come away another time stay stay safe and keep visiting my channel bye bye